Welcome to the BHB headquarters in South West London. My name is William Hymarch, my Director. Today we're here to judge Dream Car competition and the cash competition week 10, 2018, which ran from the 5th to 11th of March. Before we do that, I'd like to say congratulations to last week's winner, Omar Fayad, who won the fantastic, as featured on Top Gear last night with Chris House, Honda Civic Type R GT, plus £20,000. And in the cash competition, we had a £5,000 winner, Damien Borovang. So now I'd like to hand over to Sam Friedman from Onside Law, who will be overseeing the proceedings today. Thank you. My name is Sam Friedman from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has been passed to the auditors Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a car from the bag to determine their seating position. Firstly, Mr. Aaron Madonka. Morning, Sam. Morning, Aaron. Morning, uh, my name is Ari Medonka. I've been involved in football for over 30 years. Firstly, as a player, and then as a referee. Welcome. Mr. Hugh Gilroy. Morning, Thank you. Hi, my name is Hugh Gilroy. I'm a referee, mentor, tutor, and observer. Thank you. White. Mr. Trevor Weaver. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Trevor Weaver. I've been refereeing for over 30 years and also a mentor. Blue. Mr. Alan Goma. Good morning, sir. Good morning, my name is Alan Goma. I'm an ex professional footballer. I played for Paris Saint Germain, Newcastle, and Fulham. Green. Mr. Peter Georgia. Morning, my name is Peter George and I'm an AFA officer and football referee, mentor, tutor and observer. Orange. Mr. Leo Donnellan. Morning, Sam. Morning. Hello, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having played with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton. Yellow. Mr. Matt Cannon. Morning, Sam. Morning. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon, I'm a senior county referee and active footballer and I last played football yesterday. Last car? Red. OK judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I will ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you all to come to a power decision on the central screen. Trevor, please can I ask you to justify your position. Yes, mine's the uh, blue cross. Um, both players totally focused on, on the ball here, so we've got a good set of eyes to judge that. Um, slightly to his left, the player in red, and above his head, but say slightly to the left or his right. Um, and then taking this guy's eye line um, and cross reference them, I decided the centre of the ball would be there. Thank you very much. Yeah. Matt, please ask you to justify your position. Yeah, mine's the red cross in the middle of this uh, the cluster of, uh, of crosses. Yeah, I think this guy looks like he's going to play the ball, the guy in red. Um, this guy's really on looking uh, as opposed to challenging for the ball. Uh, and I think the ball is really directly above this player in red. I think his eyes are looking like that. And I've cross-referenced with the guy in white and put my cross there. Thank you very much. Leo, please ask you to justify your position. Yes, Sam, there's obviously two, two players uh, challenging for this ball. I think this uh, player in white, he's just on looking, even though he's close to him, I, I don't think he's going to get to the ball. Uh, so obviously I, I judged it from his eye line. Uh, the player in red, the only uh, thing with him, is his arm is up, so I believe the ball is coming into him and he's, he's going to try and uh, get to this ball uh, before this player. So uh, looking at his eye line, it's above his head um, and crossing both eye lines. That's where I decided to put my cross. Thank you. And I'm pleased to ask you to justify your position. So mine is the, the green one. Um, I think the ball is coming straight down to this player. Uh, looking at his eyes, I think he's, look, he's, he's looking slightly you know, on his right hand side. Um, the, the player in white, I think, is, is a bit behind and he, I think he's got no chance to get the ball. Um, uh, yeah, basically I cross-referenced you know, with his eye line to determine you know, the, the height of the ball and this is uh, where I thought the, the centre of the ball is. Thank you very much. Uh, Peter, please ask you to justify your position. 
Yes, I agree with what's been said so far. The guy in, in red, I believe, is going to be the guy in uh, uh, receiving the ball by, just by the look of his face. His, his head is frowned and he's also pincing his, his, his lips together, so he's ready uh, to get uh, contact with the ball. And I do believe um, this guy here, even though he's onlooking, he may be pushing or shoving, maybe trying to put him off. Uh, so what I have done, I've taken the eye line, this guy here in red, uh, slightly off to his right hand side, and in cross reference with the eye line in, in white and red, a bit intersected up and it's the centre of the ball, uh, which is the orange. Thank you very much. Ari, please ask you to justify your position. Yes, my cross is uh, the, the, the purple one. Um, I believe that the, the player in red is about to control the, 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 the ball. He's, he's by the line, by, by the by the language uh, tells me that. Um, he's looking straight at, straight at the ball, slightly to, to, to my left. And the reason that I put, uh, uh, I put my cross slightly higher, I believe that uh, the angle, of the high line of this player is about a bit higher than the other ones. That's why I place where it is. Thank you very much. Hugh, please ask you to justify your position. Yeah, mine's the white cross. Um, as my colleagues have said, I've looked at the player in white, I think it's looking up at this sort of angle. Um, the player in red, arm is raised, so I think the ball's probably dropping into him, but he's, he's still got a little bit of distance to go. Um, I do think he's, he's getting ready for it, but it's not that close. And where those two eye lines meet, that's where I place my cross. Thank you very much. Judges, please now come to a panel decision on the central screen. Find the coverage thing is all very clustered. Yeah. So pretty, uh, yeah, it's so, a yeah, maybe the green actually, which is quite centered. Yeah, the green, the orange. Which is green first. Yeah, the green, 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 white, and red. Oh! So if you need another few drop. So you're on the line. From there. From yeah. That bit over to the left. Yeah, maybe, yeah. And it's, mm. The thing is, it's in line with the inside of his eye, so. It's the exactly, 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 exactly. Is that going straight up yeah. or is it going off to the left of it? It's going off to the left, yeah. It compensates. Oh, I see. Yeah. Dissects where we are. Is that what you mean, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. Okay, what about height? Height would be right on that. Flange, yeah, on the intersection. Yeah, we've got on there. Yeah, yeah. I put a right on that, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Uh, that's. That's just the right where mine is. So it's by discounting. Uh, uh, awesome. Harry, Harry, you okay to come down a bit? Uh? Yeah, a little yeah. bit, yes. Yeah. It's close by as well. Okay. Actually, that suits me. I think it's I think we are that. from the average a bit too much to the left looking at the screen, didn't you? Well, because we've got four on that yeah. side of the yeah, right it's right yeah. We're going, I think, well, okay. that's where I'm. If you put that the magnifier over the top of the cross, see that? As if that was the ball, yeah. Yeah. Did I, come too much? I, mean, I think this would, yeah. Oh, it's okay to me. Yeah, I think it's good to Yeah, I think we all do. So we need to get those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. One. Okay. Yep. Thank you, judges. The coordinates selected are nine six one seven two three. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.